I'm Erica Chantilly and this is Remington. So thank you for watching our video. Today we're going to show you how to make cheesecake cookie cupcakes with cherries on top. But you can put any kind of um, topping that you like um, in any kind of cookie dough. If you don't like the chocolate chips, you can put in sugar, sugar cookie dough or whatever you like. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions on how we did this or comments after you watch the video, you can leave a comment or on our blog or on this video. There will be pictures on our blog. I'll leave the link in the description box where you can check that out. And if you came for our blog, from our blog, then thanks for coming and watching our video. Without further ado, um, let's go back in time. But first that we do that, I want to share my comments on these. They are stinking delicious. I think that we done a very good job. Okay, to make the cheesecake cookie cupcakes, you will need two eggs, a can of sweetened condensed milk, which is 14 ounces. You will need 21 ounces of cherry pie filling, which I don't think we're gonna use all that. Two packages of cream cheese. Cookie dough. Some cookie dough, preferably one that has an eight out of though. And then some pure vanilla extract. I will need two teaspoons of that. You will need cupcake fillers, cupcake pan, 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 <laughs> cupcake pan. And you will need some um, oil to grease the, or butter, whatever you like to use to grease the cupcakes with. So to start, you need to pick a color. What color do you want to use? Orange. Orange on the bottom. Great. The only one that stayed. Yeah. Okay, fill up our cupcakes. Okay, so Remington is going to put the cupcake um, fillers in the pan and grease them. And then he's going to put one um, little block of these in each spot. So, oh yay! We have one. Don't get the rolled up cookie dough. Get like the kind that's already like in the sheet that is cut up, so you can just measure out evenly and just well grease them first. Then drop one, one more into each. And I will say, but we'll have enough probably to make some more. Yeah. You have to wash your hands after this. Did you wash your hands before? Yeah. Okay. I just washed them. Okay, so just stick your finger in. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, wait, wash your hands before you cook. It's nice. Let's do that. No, I didn't wash my Are you serious? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so just. I'll be right back. Are you serious? He's serious. He didn't wash his hands. Okay, then. Okay. Once you know why Remington is doing that, we are going to combine all the other ingredients except for the cherry pie filling. Okay, so we're putting in our condensed, or sweetened condensed milk. That sounds really good. Why? It just does. Sweetened milk, that sounds good to me. Condensed. I don't even know what that word means. It means it's like thicker. So now you want to add in your cream cheese. You want to do two packages. And make sure it's room temperature so that it will mix up well, because if it's not room temperature, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. And now we're just going to add in our eggs. Okay, Erica, like this stuff is just everywhere. That's okay. Mm -hmm. You did a good job. Thank you. So many appreciates ate me. Okay, finally, you want to add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. You want to smell this? Sure. Does that smell good? <coughs> well, it makes you cough, but it kind of does smell good. Yeah. Let me smell it again. <coughs> it's pretty strong, huh? Yes, it is. I want to mix this up, though, while he is filling that up. So I'm just going to beat this until it's mixed it, mixed it, mixed real well. She's out of school and she still doesn't know how to pronounce words. Okay, now that Remington has finished his steps, we're going to stick these in the oven for 10 minutes. Just enough to let the cookie dough melt and kind of level out. Five, four, three, two, one. One and a half. Top, top. One and three quarters. Zero. Okay. Okay, so it has been in for 10 minutes and... Pretty leveled out. That one's kind of tiny, but it'll work. So now we're going to take a fourth a cup, um, measuring cup, cup, and 
put in. This almost smells bad. <laughs> this is your pile of cream cheese. And we'll dollop that in to the cupcake. Like and it's okay if not all of it comes out because you don't need to put the entire fourth of a cup into it. You can put how much you want. Oh, yeah, if you don't like a lot of cheesecake, I guess you can put more or less cheesecake. Or if you like a lot of cheesecake, put a lot in. Same with the cookie. If you want more crust, you can put two things of the cookie dough in. And our cherry mm -hmm. topping. You could use whatever kind of topping you wanted. We just decided to do cherry. Okay, now that they're all filled up, we are going to pop them back in the oven for about 15 minutes just to let them set. Okay, so these just come out of the oven. They're very hot, but they look good and they're springy to the touch. So what we're going to do is we're going to take them out. Be very careful. Take them out. Ouch. Yeah, I said careful. We're going to stick them on a platter to cool. You're doing what? No, you're making the tongs. You'll be all right. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to. Thank you. All right, so now we're going to take our cherry pie filling and we're going to dump some on each of the cheesecake cookie cupcakes. Yes. It looks to make sure we get like two or three cherries on each one. Yeah, it looks like a red slime. Probably like jello. But like I said earlier, you don't have to use cherry. You can use any kind of blueberry filling that you like. Yeah, you can make your own. Like blueberry, banana, grape, grape, um, apple, just whatever. What kind of cheesecake. Final like? step in making these is to let them cool for an hour. So I'm just gonna pop them in the fridge for an hour and we will show you the final end product in an hour. And I will have all the cream in my face. They are done. They look delicious. So delicious. I could eat them with the wrapper. One. You want to share your thought? I already had one. They're really good. Yeah, no, it's furious. <laughs> um, so in, all in all, they made 12, but that was only because we kind of ate the rest of the cookie dough. So we have plenty of the cheesecake mixture left to make probably another 12, I would say. Anyhow, thank you for watching this video on how to make cheesecake cookie cupcakes. And don't forget, leave a like and your comment down below. And if you want us to make anything else, just comment down below what you want us to make. I will probably approve of it. Like, I don't know if I'm going to approve of this. Um, comment on our blog. We have a blog. The link will be in the description box. So, yeah. So thanks for watching. Well. See you later. Bye. Bye. Okay, to make the, um, <laughs> this <laughs> one again, the demon wing as well. Wait. <laughs>